Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here finally the brand new version 5.1.0 of Game Hub Emulator has launched which is a major update recommended to fix lot of PC emulator compatibility issues the update size is also pretty large so here is the change log fixed translation parameters didn't take effect this is very important improved compatibility with D input and certain patches so D input basically means keyboard and mouse compatibility support so when you connect a wireless keyboard or mouse to your Game Hub Emulator you can also use it to play games added DirectX 11 support for older arm devices which is pretty amazing added more pc emulator settings improved steam stability fixed key mapping issues along with that fixed an issue where some launches fail to initialize steam so let's just go ahead and update it and in today's video we'll be seeing how well does the game of emulator 5.1.0 work now ever since we got the game of emulator 5.0 we got 5.0.1 0.2 0.3 0.4 0.5 and now 5.1.0 so the emulator is getting updated rapidly every single day with major improvements to performance bug fixes and compatibility game of emulator is officially the best windows emulator for android devices in 2025 and it works on all devices no matter if you have a low end snapdragon processor or a low end mali gpu android device it is now supported with best in class compatibility and you can even use features such as steam launcher to play steam games on your android devices like i showed you guys in my yesterday's video where we played cs2 a proper online steam multiplayer game on my android device now for today's video i have connected an external ssd and i'll be adding god of war ragnarok inside the game hub windows emulator for android i'll simply press the confirm button and it will automatically update all the required stuff such as firmware and so on but i won't be playing god of war ragnarok in today's video because i know this game actually works in game hub emulator i'll be making a dedicated gameplay test video tomorrow on the god of war ragnarok inside the game hub emulator 5.1.0 so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification what i actually want to show you guys is that you can even use external ssd like this one right here for today's video i'll be trying out grand theft auto 5 so here i'll select gta 5 launcher after a tap on the confirm button wait for few seconds and as you guys can see our gta 5 has been successfully added so now we'll go to pc game settings and check out what's new here resolution will keep it as 1280 by 720p enable mango hud direct xd hud as well as disable window manager are some of the features we also have the disable graphics enhancement plugin if you are using a graphics mod pack but let's go to compatibility translation parameters here we'll go to performance translation parameter and tap on the apply button as we'll be using the performance parameter for gta 5 afterwards we have a brand new setting known as d input library you will be able to choose between the d input.dll inside the game or from the wine built in version so prefer native has been set by default also we have a skip audio video decode option which will replace cg animations with black screen for better compatibility now basically if your game crashes during some cinematic footage of a game then you can enable this option to see if that fixes it you also have a gpu driver option as usual we are using snapdragon 8 elite graphics driver in terms of surface format you can choose between different surface formats rgba 8 is selected by default which is the best in terms of VKD 3D make sure to set it to 2.14.1 DXVK you can go with DXVK 2.3.1 or even 2.6.1 a synchronous in terms of CPU translator go with the latest fix of September 10 everything else you can keep it as default now you also get a brand new option known as developer options you also get a feature of touch controls as i mentioned before it was input controls before now it has been modified to touch controls so touch controls have been enabled let's go back and simply start playing GTA 5 on our android device and it seems that it's actually stuck at launching game for some reason we'll just go ahead and go back we'll go to the settings and we'll tap on exit game we'll take a look at some of the additional settings later on in this video but i want to see if it's because i am using an external ssd now trust me guys adding god of war ragnarok is very difficult on my android device it is a 160 gb game so testing out such games is very hard without external ssd but it seems that for now external ssd is not supported in launching such huge titles because it just keeps on going forever the launching game actually Don't worry I'll still be testing out God of War Ragnarok. I'll just have to copy it from my SSD to my Android device. Instead of GTA 5 we'll test out Assassin's Creed Rogue instead. This is also a very high end title. So here I guess I had already imported this game previously inside the Game Hub emulator. So we'll just go ahead and launch it. And this time you guys can see it has successfully launched within just few seconds. So it was definitely the issue of the external SSD. I'll just go ahead and unplug it because it's of no use. Let's swipe back once again. You guys can see some of the features such as switch touch control layout touch control opacity as well as virtual gamepad vibration you also get native rendering which should be disabled if you are facing graphical issues frame limit will also disable this option so we can get more than 60 fps everything else we can keep it as default 
let's press any key to continue and here we go let's start our game and now the game begins you guys will be able to see i am playing assassin's creed rogue on my android device at stable 35 fps in 720p resolution which is actually pretty bad i'll be completely honest i didn't expect it to drop down in performance by so much i have played this game multiple times inside the game hub emulator android with same settings and i have gotten more than 60 fps while emulating this game on my android device i had been receiving many comments from you guys saying that the performance has decreased drastically inside game hub emulator ever after updating it from the version 5.0 and it seems to be the case you guys can see it's not utilizing my full cpu not my full gpu and it is only giving me about 50 fps which is actually bad in my opinion I actually expect more FPS while emulating games like this inside an Android device with a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor but unfortunately Game Hub Emulator is letting us down. Anyways that was Game Hub Emulator 5.1.0. I'll be back very soon with God of War Ragnarok gameplay test inside this emulator. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.